Okay, so back to the beginning. I am Ash, and I'm talking to you. I'm going to tell you the journey of Unpassive in brief. Okay, we uh, we began on this journey uh, in 2018. Uh, and uh, it's important to understand what's been done and where we are and where we're going, okay? So that you have a good understanding. I think uh, you will appreciate the clarity. Uh, many of us may just came in and didn't have the time to catch up, so I'll make it uh, much easier for you. So uh, 2018, uh, we decided to create a digital marketing platform. Uh, the reason behind that, uh, I was uh, recently uh, trying to uh, have this concept of working from home or the digital life or having uh, that uh, freedom where I can work from anywhere and make a living. Uh, I am always and I have been always uh, passionate about technology and uh, new sciences and, and modern uh, uh, methods and tools in our life. So uh, in 2018, I got to the point where I was uh, unsatisfied and uh, displeased of what's available in the market. So I could not uh, see myself doing of uh, uh, any of those options were available at the time. Uh, they had issues, and I'm sure you probably uh, are familiar with some of the cases that occur. Uh, so I, I just saw there was a lot of unethical uh, practices and wrongdoing. I couldn't possibly feed that or support or be a part of any of those companies. So meaning I got to the point where I start to lose hope of this concept of uh, freedom and having uh, financial freedom or making a living. So we're going to deal with the regular uh, corporate or brick and mortar business without the virtuality or having a virtual lifestyle, uh, global business, have residual uh, income. All those beautiful uh, concepts that started to fade out like this is not as easy as we thought. So I was at a, say, intersection in my life. I needed to go either the direction of giving up that dream or uh, and, and find a personal solution, just take care of myself and family. Uh, fortunately, I have experience. I have uh, high education. I can solve one family issue, no problem, whether it's a job or some sort of uh, business, uh, I can still maintain to do that. However, I still see there there's a bigger meaning and fulfillment if I had a big uh, like a, a more return for the work I do that goes beyond myself and my family. Uh, so I'm still really unhappy of that outcome. The other direction was uh, instead of relying on those companies that failed to, every time they failed to deliver or to sustain, uh, I thought it would be a big risk, it would be a big sacrifice, it's a big price, but it would be the most beautiful thing if I go the direction and I will be in charge along with like-minded uh, people and friends that we will make the business, but do it rightfully, do it in a clean way, do it uh, where exactly how we wish. Basically, it will be the ideal business concept. So as you may know, it for somebody who's been successful uh, on and off and, you know, here and there, it it is difficult to settle with something average or below average. So uh, obviously, we went the hard direction. We said we're going to make uh, the business where we can e either save the community or come up with something that is uh, clean. Uh, we do it right and uh, it will be sustainable long term. We do everything uh, according to the laws, according to more importantly, the ethical and, and fair and the fairness and all of that. So that was the decision. Uh, and uh, one big reason behind the motive, we thought we already know what's good and what works and what's right and what to stay away from. 
So that's already a big plus. It's not like we we had no idea how to make it because we've been around and without going to the past, uh, we knew what would make a good business, ideal business model. We knew what products are really needed or at least we, we needed at, at all the time. So we thought if we create those products and do this business structure or this business model with such a fairness, uh, we're going to have a, a game changer. So we went, to, we decided to do it in 2018 and we didn't have a full, uh, you know, detailed plan more than we just decided to do it with the slogan, do it or die. Okay. At any cost, we're going to do it. We knew it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be short, but whatever was the, uh, uh, you know, the, the price we were willing to pay the price and we just knew it would be a great outcome for everybody. So we decided to share it with a few friends and say, okay, this is my vision. This is what I, what I want to do. Uh, can you imagine we do and make, create the, this product or this platform and, and this is the features or the models uh, of our business. And, uh, you know, we have uh, more uh, individuals and businesses can benefit from that, mostly in the marketing uh, arena, like digital marketing or internet marketing, where businesses, individuals, organizations can utilize that. So we, we decided to do it. A few friends said, it's a great concept, we'll do it, okay. And, and we said, okay, so maybe, but it's not done. Now we're gonna go to work, okay. It has nothing ready. We, we're gonna go to work now, but we're gonna create this, but we're confident that we will be able to create it. So let's create a, a path where those who are interested and excited about the business model, they have the ability to, to come on board and 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 ride along on this journey so we did, we created the the founder program and we didn't want to go uh with a high pay uh and uh make it difficult to join and so we just made it simple accessible for anybody with a desire it is possible here is the thing uh it's not an investment we created the founder position as a pre-registration for the on-passive business. The on-passive is the main business. Go Founders is a the only position or package that is available by invitation only in the pre-launch period. We had never put a uh, put a date or estimation for exactly when we're going to launch. We just knew whatever it takes, we're going to do it. So we put a price on it and we said one time, and this is the criteria, it would be a $97 one time. We don't count that in the pre-launch period. It will only count on the launching, the official public and global launching date. Whatever that date is, we count 12 months. The founder position works like a VIP uh, a set of, of features and benefits for the founders, okay? But it doesn't cover the cost of the products. This is more of the founders club, if you wish. It's an annual membership, optional for the benefits. One of them is being on this webinar. This is not available for the public. This is a private webinar and where you get to witness the evolution and the, the, the transformation of Unpassive from scratch all the way to where we are now, only you as a founder have that ability to witness. And also you have the ability to see and, and actually uh, uh, attend where we uh, show occasionally, especially now uh, because we're getting uh, 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 more, uh, uh, like more production and more things are being done, you're able to see exact products and, and live modules. So okay, occasionally we do so with that, like a, a product demonstration. Okay, the public is not gonna see that. You only get to see that. 
and and some of the pieces like the traffic what we're doing now with some of the uh youtube videos uh the go founders the email delivery uh the 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 wallace the merchants all of those pieces and details of the business are technically requirements to be te uh, required to be tested so you are being a part of the beta testing okay which is simply testing products or features or functions with a limited number of uh, people who have access to it. So that was the, the beginning, the start in 2018. And we simply, uh, I was doing my research before I shared it with people, I, I wanted to make sure I have a full plan and uh, what are we gonna do? That's in 2018, two years ago, okay? Uh, I done my research because before that, I uh, created uh, several marketing platforms for free. I never had one that uh, with a charge or uh, as a business. I did it as a, a team uh, giveaway uh, where it helps those who are on my team or not to, uh, to be able to succeed and, and produce. So, so I went back to my contacts and I said, okay, now I'm going to do it, but now it's going to be a business model. It's going to be a bigger, it's going to be larger, all of that. So previously I worked with people in Argentina. I worked with people in the United States, in Canada, in uh, the Philippines, Egypt, uh, Malaysia, or yeah. Uh, so several countries. So I, I checked up with all of them to see which one is the closest. None of them was at the level where they can be exclusive to on passive, except I found two companies in India that said, we can give you a dedicated team when your business grows to that. But still, it's not our proprietary technology or, or let's say it's not in-house. It's uh, we're outsourcing the technology. It didn't take long, not even a couple of months to realize none of them would be able to deliver such a massive project. We, we, we quickly uh, uh, outgrew their capacity in terms of the number of the employees and all of that. And the timing helped us a lot. One of those companies, it's rather a small company, in India, state of West Bengal, city called Kolkata, they know it. Uh, and uh, they were uh, uh, downsizing the company and, and changing direction from, you know, uh, uh, technology to communication, I believe. Uh, so they would, they were just about to lay off a few or several of their uh, staff. And uh, we offered them uh, with, you know, agreement, if you're letting them go, we can take them because they were all techie in, in design and programming. I said, we can take them and we will create our own on passive team uh, as, as a, a, a new company. So that was the spark. Uh, quickly, we maxed out the office, but, but we, we uh, you know, the more I assigned work, uh, Remember, GoFounders was open. The the bigger the um, uh, the GoFounders uh, has become, and now it's taken time. We're talking about the end of 2018 already, where we decided to automate GoFounders and allow founders to invite, okay, and pre-build other founders in the pre-launch. Uh, so we created replicated pages. We, we made the payment like uh, uh, digital, online, electronic. So more, uh, so that way we don't have to stop just because we're too busy with the founders uh, uh, program in a way. We need to focus on the production of on passive. So I hope you understand how the start was. So in December 2018, was the beginning or the, the, the when the GoFounders platform went live, 
with our own team, but it was a small team, you know, dozens, and it was uh, in, in a state and city that we were having a hard time to find, uh, you know, a larger team uh, at, at the expertise level that we wanted and um, the, the, the quantity. So we decided to move to another, that's like mid, uh, mid 2019, just about a year ago, a year and a half, uh, 2019, we decided to go and relocate. We uh, uh, closed uh, the Kolkata office and we went to Bangalore. That's the Silicon Valley of India. And you're talking about from December up until uh, April 2019. So December 2018, when we went live, it didn't work as flawless. We had merchant issues, uh, duplicate payments, uh, email delivery, uh, bugs and all of that. We didn't get it right until April 2019. That's when things went smooth, flawless, bugs free, it was moving. Now we took a breath and we said, now we can focus back on track and on passive, the on passive bigger thing because Go Founders is just one feature of on passive. So if, if you understand April is the time when we finally start getting things in order to be able to focus on passive and the numbers were growing and I had a webinar, uh, I called it, I quit. Okay, it was just a subject line. If you all recall, if you were with us, it was a subject line I used. It's from a marketing perspective, like shocking news and all of that. You just wanna get attention. And the, the meaning of I quit was I, quit giving you timeline. I'm not going to say 60, 30 days or all. So we said, I will not give you, that's the I quit mentality. And if somebody is unhappy with that, at any point, we will honor their request of refund. So we allowed a few dozens decided, okay, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to have an open. We respected that and gave them the money back, closed the account, it was done. Now, we are no longer in Kolkata. We are 100% in Bangalore and we are hiring and we are growing. Uh, but remember, at a higher speed, the, the, the word started to get out and, and we're more attractive and, and doing these webinars every week or sometimes multiple times a week, as you know, uh, we have attracted uh, more uh, leaders. Uh, the market became even drier of anything with hope. So we got all the reasons to have more attention on Unpassive. But now remember, this is our own office in Bangalore, okay? We do have an office in Orlando where I am speaking from now, but it's just managerial administrative for me thinking time. It's just because we're professional. We certainly don't have to have that office, okay? But we do, uh, just because we wanna do it as a professional business with, uh, with uh, total transparency. We're not hiding anything. We decided to open the, com the company in the uh, United States of America, and perhaps that allow us to practice business all across the globe. Just, a year and a half ago is, is technically the focus on the on passive products. But here's the good thing that came out with it. The, the best of the best of our founders start to come at that time. Speaking of on passive nation, speaking of all the great leaders now, that's the time when they came on board and oh boy, did we miss it? Uh, have we missed anything if we launched before they came on board? It would have been a different journey. I'm sure I don't know. I cannot predict something didn't happen, but I'm very happy that we took the time to allow uh, a, a good quality of leaders all across the globe to, to be on board. It is more powerful now. We're learning more. We're able to 
to validate all of our features before we go to the public uh, uh, market. 2019, summertime, when we started to realize there, the automation that we're asking like to automate every feature for your business, to do it for the millions maybe, was not even possible with the traditional technology. Artificial intelligence, came up and that was the ignite of it. So we needed to endorse artificial intelligence, machine learning, ML, AI ML in our business to be able to automate every piece of our business. Remember 2018, we decided to do a digital marketing company, hire other companies to outsource and take care of our business, not full house company, but 2019, became our own company, our own uh, 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 employees, on salary, all of them. I mean, we started at the end of uh, 2018, but we became a larger team. And then we decided to go artificial intelligence, machine learning, and one more thing that happened in the summer 2019, just about a year ago, we realized that no matter what, features or applications we included in the unpassive digital marketing uh, digital marketing up until that point we still will have to go to other software services applications that would have to buy to be able to complete our business cycle as unpassive or any other business so we thought it would be more impactful and more complete if we also have those products and pieces of any business done by us and, and build them from the ground up from scratch to, to have a complete digital, mark, uh, digital uh, uh, solution, not only marketing. So marketing was 2018, 2019, AI, ML, and complete, complete internet solution and digital marketing uh, and digital solutions. So it's for businesses, for, for anything. So it becomes the only place that if you are in it, you don't need any other elements outside on passive. That is the evolution of on passive. That's a major transformation. We went from a market cap would have been 100, 200, 300 million if we got all the whole market of the digital marketing to where we are today, 4.66, okay, or 4.7 billion. That's 4,700 million users that go online. Every one of them has a reason or two or more to be an unpassive. We certainly don't claim that they're all going to be there, but we know one thing for a fact. We have 280,000 of them said, yes, I love it. I want to be in. Congratulations, you're one of them as a founder. And it can only multiply as you learn more and more of what we've developed. And as the world is going to find out what we have. What we have is proprietary products and technologies haven't been done before, period. Everything is clean. Everything is authentic, genuine, and everything is scalable. Everything is fair. And the cost is, is no comparison to anything else. It's a, it's a, it's a priceless value, super high value for a minimal cost. That's why the potential and the demand on Unpassive could be huge, just because of the facts. So we are in 2020, the beginning of the year began with the pandemic, as you know, uh, 
been a rough year and I'm sorry for all the suffering that some people have to go through and certainly it wasn't that easy. Uh, but thankfully we are still here and uh, we, we have this hope ahead. Uh, just a matter of time that we're going to have this magnificent uh, digital solution that will impact our life. No doubt about that. Uh, financially, communications uh, will save us a lot of time, hassle, frustration, cost will save us money. It, it's, it's a great thing to be on. And uh, today, uh, or, or just to, to kind of like say where we are this year, we, we uh, maxed out in Bangalore uh, back in the, back in like spring. So we started to think where else we can expand if it's a different country, a different state, all of that. So we have done our research and due diligence to come to uh, a decision that Hyderabad is the city uh, that we want to go to. There was it's it's a growing IT hub, second after uh, Bangalore, which is both are in South India and uh, two different states. Bangalore is in a state called Karnataka, if you are familiar with the map, and uh, Bang uh, Hyderabad is uh, uh, Bengaluru, right? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Telangana. Telangana. Telangana, yeah. So they speak te Telugu or something? Yes, yes. Okay. So we moved or we opened a new location in high tech city in Telangana. We're going to learn that. Okay. And the city is called Hyderabad. Um, and quickly, quickly in a matter of two months, we uh, maxed out the building, the facility that we rented. So we decided to have a, a more uh, reliable solution that we can have a larger amount of uh, uh, techies and uh, professionals. Uh, we estimated that we will need no less than 1,000 to be uh, on this uh, uh, project to be able to maintain it and, and continue to grow it. Uh, we are more than halfway in terms of that, but we have a large recruiting team now we're at a, a high pace. So we have a, a good uh, uh, prediction that by the end of the year, we, we could max out the whole building. Right now, uh, we just moved to a new building in High Tech City uh, just weeks ago. And uh, it's all exclusive to us. We're the only company in it. And uh, it's five uh, floors, okay? It's in the background where uh, Greg is. Uh, that's the actual building and uh, we uh, we have one uh, uh, two floors are occupied now uh, two are being remodeled and and we're gonna just uh, swap once those two are done uh, then they uh, they go so the whole building will be redone I will show you some pictures still undergoing speaking of uh, 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 success road is always under constructions. That's a good example of that. Uh, so you you'll be talking, or we are like doing make uh, conferences, and you hear the banging, the the drilling, all of that. Uh, it's 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 noisy, it's loud, uh, but that's that's a part of the process. Now we are at a okay at a state where. Uh, we will also uh, downsize the Bangalore office just to be fully transparent with you, okay? Transparent, because we have seen better and bigger uh, growth in Hyderabad. So we decided we're gonna focus more on there. We're finding more talent there, uh, more experience, more commitment. It's, it's a business decision. It's very obvious to us, our own experience. We can tell you that, uh, it's working really good for us in Hyderabad. So it makes sense that we uh, wind down. We are not closing uh, Bangalore. 
maybe in the future, long term, we will probably close it or keep it small, minimal. But this weekend, we have another group of our teams are relocating from Bangalore to Hyderabad, okay? And uh, we still have the facility that we rent, uh, rent which is called nine, 91 Springboard, as you know. Uh, that's a, a office space company. We uh, mentioned that before. That will continue. So we're going to have some teams and we'll have it as a backup as well uh, for some time until, let's say, the pandemic hopefully is over and, you know, the urgency is, is, is awake. This is where we are today. We have a five floors building uh, completely for us. It's uh, being equipped and uh, wired for us, top technology, security, hundreds of employees are already there full-time, super professional. I couldn't be more proud or happy or honored to have found a different or better team. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased of the quality of them. Of course, you're gonna get some stories here and there, you know, some uh, random guys and, you know, that's, that's natural with number, it will come. We deal with it, dramas everywhere, but the vast majority, uh, we, we've got a very, very uh, strong team and uh, they're capable of, of delivering any wish, any idea that we have as founders, business partners here to uh, implement. So from now and on, as a founder, of Unpassive, you're able to register before the public market. Unpassive is in the final stages of being complete. Many products are 100% done. Most products are in the final stages. A few products may be halfway or need some weeks, but nothing severe. So we're really that close. We're in the smallest portion, but remember, we have the largest team now in uh, reference to the last year and a half. So we're moving at a bigger speed. Things are closing very well now, uh, higher quality. And any time you have an idea or you have a good suggestion, okay, that not works for you, obviously, please, that works for the public, for the customer of Unpassive, for the uh, uh, founders, anything that is fair and uh, useful, uh, please go ahead and suggest it. We will consider that. If it makes sense, we will implement it. This is a huge uh, privilege for all of us. Our team is here. They are available. They stay up very late and they go back to work in the morning on Friday. Uh, so, uh, they will be happy to uh, come and talk if you want to ask some questions. Managers, directors, technical leads, okay, product managers, uh, delivery managers, or type of professionals, they are going to be invited. Uh, if, if you if you want to, they will speak to you directly here. We have real people, and they are here, and they get paid full time salary just to serve you and work on your business and my business. So I hope that makes you feel powerful and, and like a hero that you have all this massive team and uh, at your uh, service. So once